Hello everyone, my name is Jelani and welcome to my channel. In today's video, the work of art we'll be recreating is none other than the iconic Captain America shield. A staple of the Marvel comics and a huge talking point in the recent Falcon and Winter Soldier series. Today we'll be constructing one ourselves, but not out of vibranium, but rather out of equations. Let's dive into things and get started. Like we did last time, let's add the most important colors we'll need for this drawing. And yes, you are seeing clearly that I'm adding white, and we'll see why it's important later. We won't need a background today, so we can go straight into our linear function. Get it? Straight? As in straight line? No? Okay. Not on your life, sport. We're creating the star at the front of the shield first. And for our outline version, it's actually going to be a lot of lines. So I'm kind of going to speed through things. But I want you to pay attention to how I alter the gradient to affect the pivot of each line. <laughs> and also how I alter the Y intercept to ensure my lines connect to one another. Now that the star is finished, let's work on the circles around the shield. Here's our circle function. Behold, my I don't care in Athar. The F number moves the circle right or left. The G number moves the circle up or down. And the R number makes the circle bigger or smaller. I'm actually going to need all my circles to be in the center of the graph, so my F and G numbers are always going to be zero. And since they are zero, I can just leave them out when I'm writing my equations. The first circle, I set its R size to be two. Because all the circles are in the same spot, I'll just be copying pasting and changing the R sizes. The second circle will be an R size of 3. Then the next one will be 4 and finally the last one will be an R size of 5. Now let's set all the appropriate colors and here we go, the most awesome looking Captain America shield. <laughs> you serious? Okay, okay, let's go on to the solid version now. This is actually not gonna take that long because we already did most of the hard work. However, when we are making the solid version, the most important thing to get right is the order in which we add the elements. Down, shoe, mustard, pan, but no! Mr. Krabs, I am so confused. I'm starting off with the R size five circle, and notice how I'm using a less than or equal to symbol instead of the usual equal sign like last time. This is because that symbol essentially allows me to color inside the circle. Now, let's do the R size 4 circle. Now we do the R size 3 circle. And once we're finished with that, we need to start connecting all the points for our star so we can use the most amazing function in the world the polygon function. Yes. Oh, finally! Okay, so now that the star is done, here comes the polygon function. And oh, bam! Our star is now on.
Lastly, let's make the blue circle at the center of the shield by using the less than or equal to sign with the R size 2 circle. And there we go. Captain America's shield is finished. Now, we can even add in a picture of the newest Captain America, Sam Wilson, and have him holding our shield. And here is the finished product. So guys and girls, that brings an end to today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, consider tapping that like button, and if you really loved it, you can subscribe as it lets me know to keep making more of these videos. If you want to check out my first art with math video, here it is on the screen now, or you can check out my entire playlist to find out some more videos that you may like. Once again, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.